video on my last day being a Christian. And this is going to be kind of a story about why I left Christianity and why I got so attracted to Islam. Well, I was first born in a non-denominational Christian family. And I did like my religion. I was really attached to it until I started questioning it at the early age of 12. I am 12 now, but I'm kind of almost there of turning 13. But anyways, uh, I was questioning myself of why some Christians just disobeyed the Bible, such as eating pork and shellfish, and I was like, why do they do that? That doesn't make any sense. And stuff like that, and then... It just didn't make sense how uh, Jesus could be God, and it just and many Muslims say, say stuff as that makes sense, like such as if Jesus was God, then how can he, how can God die on the cross, and who was the su supporting the universe or stuff like that? Uh, and I was like, yeah, how, how? Anyways, and then, but I didn't immediately come to Islam be, because uh, there's something else in my way, which is, was Judaism, but doesn't really make a lot of sense to me, even though it's just that the, the culture is so overwhelming and amazing. But, uh, but I didn't really want to reject Jesus, but I did at one point for like four months, and I don't know why, why I did that. Yeah, then after four months, I quit my conversion to Judaism. And I wanted to find something else to replace it, and the only religion I would have to do convert is Islam, was left. I did think of Islam as a violent re religion during my conversion to Judaism, because I just saw all these videos about radical Muslims, but... But I just don't get why people have to blame the whole religion. Even though Christians have... The KKK is, like, terrorizes people in the South. Well, and, yeah, and then I started researching it and looked deep down into it. And I was like, you know, this is making a whole lot more sense. Just, it's... So, just the unity of God and all of his prophets. And I started researching about the life of the prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, about how he did these all good things, how he uh, brought a message of God, from God and converted the whole city of Mecca. And it's really amazing how he could have done that. And also the scientific evidence in the Bible, I mean the Quran, such as the Big Bang, it says somewhere in the Quran that the heavens and the earth were once one until they came apart. And that sounds similar to the Big Bang, which was convert, confirmed in the middle, the middle, you know, 20th century. And then learned about the holidays, uh, Ramadan, Eid al Fitr, I think that's how you say it, and then Muhammad's birthday and death, and stuff like that, 
And I gotta say that there is no God but God, and Muhammad is his messenger. Goodbye.